Next question goes to Tomasz Wuk of uh, Salonit Anhovo uh, or Alpatsem. Hello. And uh, <laughs> the question Hi. is, is, a, is, is an SRF usage in salmon production sustainable? Yeah, we think it's sustainable because uh, anyhow, at the end of the day, every product uh, tends to waste. So we need to take care of how to use this waste and in nature. All the organic matter at the end turns to a source of energy. And so uh, we think we will have uh, enough, uh, uh, or, or we have always some some materials that will need a thermal, thermal usage, and therefore uh, also SRF usage in cement is sustainable. Uh, yeah, why is it important to use SRF in the cement production? <laughs> Thanks. A lot of this has been already said uh, today. Um, it's a way of uh, going away from fossil fuels. Or like uh, Professor Pomberger said, there will be no cement plant in Europe uh, without having at least 70% of um, SRF in, in, uh, in, um, in the production. But maybe I, I would like to just uh, um, um, say another more thing. It was uh, mentioned in the presentation of Mr. Schneider that uh, uh, there is an opportunity to have negative uh, uh, emissions in the future once cement plants have uh, uh, CCS. And I think this is also one uh, very important uh, important thing uh, because in the future, I think also all the cement production will be equipped with CCS in Europe. And uh, by combining these two things, uh, we can create some negative emissions of CO2 as well. And maybe, if I may say just to, to the question before, maybe we should think about, let's say, including landfilling into, into the ETS scheme, because we know that with landfill we have also some emissions that are very uh, influential to the, uh, the climate. <laughs>